Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Voscoin YouTube channel. Today we are going to be reviewing the Dayan Miner Zig Z1 Plus. So this is an ASIC miner mining Lyra 2 Re V2. You know, like the second version that they made to be ASIC resistant, but now there's an ASIC behind me doing that algorithm, so they had to switch to a new algorithm. But my point is just that we're reviewing a new miner today. What exactly is this miner? How much does it cost? How much does it earn you per day? Is it a good investment? Should you buy it? What coins can you mine with it? And uh, above all, Tails is gonna be in the video today, so you better stick around. Over the last six months, there just feels like there's so many ASIC miners, right? There's so many mining devices, but so few of them make great money. It's like, you know, back a couple years ago, an ASIC miner, if it wasn't pulling 20 bucks a day, you're like, whoa, what's wrong with that guy? I mean, what, did they make a thousand of those? It's like, yeah, they made a thousand, Jim. They made a thousand, 10 times. That's what happened with the D3, but enough. Let it go. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Voss of the Voss Coin YouTube channel. And I'm here to bring you the official review on the Ant Miner D3. As cryptocurrency becomes more well known and people realize how much money is available within it and that miners are literally money generating devices. So if you develop the right one for the right algorithm at the right time, you know, like probably one of the first ones, that it, it makes a ridiculous amount of money and the actual hardware cost of these devices is pretty low. You know, it's that skill, the expertise to be able to design and develop it for, you know, whatever said mining algorithm. And on this topic slash rant slash tangent that I've just gone off on, it's really going to be the main focus of today's video. It's going to be profitability. Does the Zig Z1 Plus make sense from a profitability standpoint? Because it either one has to, or you really want to support one of the coins that's still using that mining algorithm. So let's jump into it. This miner is making five bucks a day, or at least currently. However, on average, it's been making about $4 a day, and that's before any electricity cost is factored in. You factor in your electric, you're gonna be losing about 75% of those earnings if you're at about four bucks. But how much does this miner cost and where did it come from? This video is brought to you by Coin Mining Central. They sent me this device. I didn't get paid millions to make this review. I have an affiliate code in the video description below. So if you buy this miner or anything off their site, you uh, I get like, you know, percentage. It's like 3% or something. There's also a coupon uh, for the whole website. It's Voscoin, give you, save you 5%. They also carry other ASIC miners which will, for example, be the Bitmain Ant Miner B7, which this, you can't even get this off Bitmain's website yet. You know, where is the B7? I don't know. But guess what? It's one of the most profitable miners to come out right now. That didn't go well. But it's right here at the top of the list. And uh, can't even get it. So using a third party like this, it may make sense. Their price is in pounds, which converts out to about 1600 USD. And compared with Dan's price off their website, which has recently been reduced, you're paying about $450 more using a third party. Hey, hey, I'm talking to you. This is a public safety disclaimer, okay? I don't want anyone to get scammed. I personally haven't ordered from Coin Mining Central before, but they did send me this miner and I've been dealing with Gavin there for a little while. He seems like a good guy, but again, I've never personally ordered there, so please understand you, you're taking your own risk there. Also, this Dayan Mining website, Tails, she thinks it's kind of sketchy, and I kind of do too. So please keep in mind, if you do order off of there and you get scammed, I'm sorry, I've never ordered from it, so proceed at your own risk. Don't risk money you can afford to lose. Not financial advice ever, because you could get sued here because I'm an American, everybody's sensitive, but I am a doge dad. So before we go any further, let's check the specs. As you know, the manufacturer is Dayan. There's a lot of scam websites out there, so be careful. The model, Zig Z1 Plus, obviously, I mean, we saw the title of the video, 28 nanometer chip, okay? So kind of older chip tech, not ideal. Maybe these are kind of cheaper because there's a new one around the corner with you know better chip tech, aka smaller nanometer. Noise level claims to be 70 dB, but in my testing it was shown higher, but I didn't really use the best uh, equipment. You know, your phone's not the best equipment here. Also, uh, obviously it's minus 7.2, or this says 7.25 gigahash a second on Lyra 2 Rev 2 mining algorithm with 1200 watts being consumed. 
And as far as the noise, let's go ahead and check it out. So you may be wondering, how loud is the Zig Z1 Plus? This is something I don't cover enough here on the channel just because having the mining shed have been spoiled with, like, it doesn't really matter how loud it is. It's either really loud and annoying or not that loud, but still annoying because most ASIC miners are annoying. So you gotta touch it so it doesn't time out. But as you can see right there, and it's just off a basic phone app, off my iPhone XR, it's getting a reading of almost 100 decibels. And while this is a lower pitched fan noise, so it's not, you know, that high, loud, whine, scream, reminiscent of, say, the Panda Miner. As you can see, the Panda Miner runs pretty warm, pretty loud. Uh, you know, it still is very loud, and continuous exposure to noise at this decibel level will be damaging to your hearing. Better get some earmuffs. There are a couple decent coins on this mining algorithm. So let's jump into the ASIC mining profit calculator and check that out. So with the input of 7.2 giga hash is what it's reported to do, which it actually doesn't quite do, which I'll get to that here in a second. You and using consuming 1200 watts and 11 cent per hour kilowatt hour uh, power consumption. So this is going to be a little bit high, you know, compared to say mining farms, which I would say on average, the average mining farm right now is probably at about five USD cents per kilowatt hour. And some are blowing that number away. And some people pay a higher residential electric rate than 11 cents just for your reference there but you can see here we've got some pretty decent coins we've got mona coin which you know whether you like the coin or not they do volume okay that volume 20 btc volume that's plenty of volume for you know most residential miners you've also got birch 465 bitcoin worth of volume that's a ton of volume that's like mining farm worthy volume i'm talking big build outs okay <laughs> And then, you know, there's also the nice hash option if you would like to use that, whether you love them or hate them, whatever. That's not what today's video is about. And the next coins that come up are actually going to be scripts. So just ignore those because you have to make sure we're looking at the right mining algorithm, which would be Lyra 2, Rev 2. It's revision V2, but Rev 2 sounds a little cooler. This number is going to be a little bit of a stretch depending uh, upon how your miner is performing and your electric rate. But if you say you're pulling about $2 a day after you pay your electric bill and keep it, keep in mind, you know, at least you can expense your electric bill for U.S. tax purposes. You know, if you're in the USA, um, you know, just for reference, that's not going to apply to everyone, obviously. But just say, you know, you're pulling two bucks profit a day with this miner and that's with 11, you know, around 11 cents per kilowatt hour. And if you take two bucks times 365, you know, the amount of days in a year, you would make $730 over the next year. And I know nothing stays the same in crypto, but things could also hopefully go up. With all those numbers in mind, we're projected to break even in two years. I've talked a lot of specs. I've talked a lot of numbers. I've talked a lot of profitability, but I haven't brought you inside the miner yet. So this miner is set up with a static IP address. So if you're looking for it on your router to find that IP address to log in and you're having a bad time, you're getting pissed off, it's 192.168.1.100. Okay, you put that in and then from there you will simply put in admin, admin, and that will bring you to this dashboard. You will see, like normal, my miner is not hashing at 7.2 giga hash a second. And it's pretty annoying, okay, because it's not hitting that estimated advertised rate and this brings it to if you've you know read anything online about the zig z1 especially but also the zig z1 plus a lot of people have issues with it they have stability issues with it it just basically you know shit minor hits the ship shit hits the fan it's a shitty time it happens okay and i experienced some of those same things when i was using this miner and quite honestly the only place i've got it stable and not just just, honestly just not working is mining on nice hash i couldn't even get it working properly with the usa stratum and, and you guys know i mean come on I, I think i'm smart enough to hopefully be able to sync up to the nice hash stratum but for whatever reason i was having stability issues with it on the usa stratum i was having stability issues with it on other pools but it works fine on the europe stratum for nice hash so i don't know man i don't know but what i can tell you is that it hardly ever hashes above its projected hash rate and it's almost always below it did i get above minor you know am i cursed i don't know i don't know but if you look at the accepted okay all boards are pretty much in line which would point to not having a bad board this one's got some hardware errors but that's a very low percentage and you know actually has more um accepted shares than uh 
this board. Anyway, I'll have this stuff to copy and paste if you want in the video description. If you do have one of these, feel free to use it, whatever. Uh, as far as actual minor, I mean, it's a nice dashboard, but it doesn't totally work properly. It may remind you of another minor we recently reviewed on the channel. You know, the uh, future bit Apollo. But we come over here, we can adjust the frequency of the board. So it's basically maxed out per these settings. Uh, when I showed you the sound clip, the fan speed was set on level five. That's what it comes as, it's what I keep it as. You know, it's definitely pushing out a, a good amount of uh, warm air. It's in my garage right now and it's about 75 degrees Fahrenheit in there. Obviously it's just like everything else. Put your pool in, put your username, worker, password, and you're off to the races. You can save and restart the mine. You can change your time zone. I did that, so I have this lovely little clock telling me what time it is right here. You can adjust your uh, IP address. You know, if you want a static one, like the 192, 168, 1100, it could start to be an issue if you had, like, say, two of these, for example. They don't have any kind of auto update feature, which I really would like to see become a standard in the mining industry sooner than later. Not that it would automatically push it but then it's automatically there and you can just click, click, boom, update if you want to. So there it is guys, the review on the Dayon Mining Lyra 2, Rev 2, ASIC Miner, the Zig, Z1 Plus, that's a lot to say, this thing mines coins, okay, it's a miner. And as you saw in this video, it's supposed to hash 7.2 giga hash a second on that mining algorithm. It uses 1200 watts, mine's not performing as it's supposed to, but it's still working, I guess, decently enough. As you can say, on average, my earnings, you know, with this synced up to nice hash is a little bit over $4 a day. After I pay my electric bill, well, in about seven days, I could almost buy a burrito. And how my mining farm only earns the equivalent of one Chipotle burrito a day. I'll be rich in no time, boys. The noise on it, you know, it's pretty tolerable. Uh, it's kind of what you'd expect. I'd say standard ASIC miner. It's not incredibly annoying. You know, the decibels are a little high, but at least it's a lower pitched hum as opposed to, again, the high pitched whine that we talked about earlier. At the end of the day, depending on where you order this miner, what you pay for it, and what your electric cost is, this could actually be a good play. I wouldn't really say I necessarily, I wouldn't recommend it, uh, just due to, I, don't, I feel it's unpolished. I feel it's a little old. You know, it's, I feel, it kind of feels like a stale miner, right? It's not new, it's not exciting, it's not making so much money a day. Because when you get those new miners and you're making those cra that crazy money in the first couple days, first couple weeks, if you're really lucky, first couple months, you know, that's when you really recoup a lot of money. That's where you can really make some good gains, you know, looking at it from just a, a business money move, right? But if you miss out on that initial wave, you better pay significantly less than those guys did for that miner. Because in cryptocurrency and crypto mining, miner prices rapidly fall down normally that's just the way it goes and if they don't well i don't think they're really selling too many of them then ultimately i think that this miner is okay you know depends on the price you get it what your electric cost is if it makes sense for you would i build out a farm of them personally no because i don't have access to cheap electricity simple as that but if you do maybe this miner is for you maybe you like maybe you're just a big mona coin fan well then maybe this miner is for you. I haven't really looked into if they're going to be changing their mining algorithm, but this miner's been out for a while and they're still on it. So I would say they're probably going to be sticking around there uh, for a good bit. It's actually a funny coin if you look into it. But anyway, I want to thank all you guys for taking the time to view my videos. Everyone who comes back and watches my videos, you guys keep me doing this. It makes it fun, exciting. It wouldn't be fun to, you know, make videos from no one. That'd be just kind of sad. But <laughs> my point is just that I appreciate you guys. Uh, please leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this miner. Please hit a thumbs up on the video because that keeps us in business. And well, along with, you know, you guys watching the videos, like I just said. And I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. I just want to be with you. Yeah, I just want to be.